Yo, hey YouTube, my name is Swiss and welcome to this new Warface video. Today I'm gonna present you 5 tips and tricks for the ranked games. Yeah, the ranked games, everyone knows them and everyone plays them. The new ranked season started yesterday on the Monday and the ranked matches are pretty hyped at the moment because if you reach the first place in the ranked games, you can win a dragon skin box and in the dragon skin you can in the dragon skin box you can win a permanent black dragon weapon, I think. Well, this is pretty good and everyone wants one of these boxes, but reaching level 1 is kinda hard. We know all the ranked matches had some a struggling past. Uh, yeah, struggling past if you can say. We first had the problems with the levers and this was something really disgusting because you load it, you load it, you started the ranked game and even if you started to play before even, the enemy team left because they saw uh, they are high level players. So they left and you were alone versus five players and it wasn't, a, it ma didn't make any sense for you anymore. Now we got some technical changes, you, we have to surrender function and the rage quit gets punished now. So. Rage, uh, rage quitters and leavers are still alive. Of course, they are still people who are leaving. But if you leave, you get banned for a few minutes. I think there are 30 minutes at the moment. If you leave a ranked game, you are banned for the ranked games. This does something. This makes something to leavers. There aren't so many leavers anymore. They, there are still some, of course. But I think it got better. It got, it got better with the leavers. Now, the other problem is the equipment, because you can't kick a player in ranked games. I think this is basically correct, they are ranked and you should be able to kick some people. The problem is, when people are playing with a Garota, Cargo SNR, PT-50, Cargo SMG, we know the stuff, you have, don't have a chance to kick them and they won't change, because when they are in the enemy team they also can't get kicked and it's just annoying. The question is basically, why are the people using that stuff? Is it because they are they feel like invisible there? They can't get kicked, they can do what they want, they feel invisible. invisible. Is it that or is it that they actually trying so hard to win the ranked matches? I don't know it actually, is it both a little bit or is it only one of them? Let me know this opinion of, for you in the comments, it would be really interesting for me because I actually don't know it exactly. Now today let's come to the basic stuff of the video, I have 5 tips and tricks for you to better, uh, to be better and play better in the ranked games and probably gonna win them more easy. First of all this is a basic tip and Everyone knows it, but not many people are actually doing it. It is play with the team. Guys, it's so important, and I can't say it enough times, it's so important that you play with a team together. Why? First of all, you know your teammates. You know it by yourself, you know the level of skill of your uh, teammates, and you have the chance to communicate with them. If you are in a clan, use TeamSpeak, use Skype if you just play with people on your buddy list. Also, give Skype details or TeamSpeak address so you can communicate while the matches. And if you are five people from the same team, there is there are no levers. You can communicate together. There are no levers anymore. No one of your teammates will leave. You have to force about what they what they are playing with because probably it sounds stupid, but if I have an a uh, teammate of me playing with Corgum SNR or Garota or BT50 even. I feel bad. I, I feel bad by myself. This sounds probably stupid, but I don't want to, to have to do anything with that player and I don't want to win because he plays not fair. But what's my chance? I, the only chance is to leave at the moment. So what should I do? I can't kick him. The only chance for me is to leave and then, they can, they, then I get banned for a few minutes on the ranked games. This is also not what I want basically. Yeah, this is another fact. You have to force about. Uh, you can ch you can say what the play what your friends will play. You can you can uh, you can yeah you can you have to force about a fair game basically uh, of your team side of course not of the enemy team. You have you have no force there, but on your team on your side you can play fair. And the other stuff is basically you can communicate, and this is so much important. You. 
you have a way better chance to win if you're communicating than an enemy team with only five random people and this is a really important fact so guys remember play with teammates this this is one of the best tips i can give you most important and this makes you win more ranked matches than when you play with randoms now the second tip play with medics Medics are such a thing, no one wants to play medic. At the moment I see often, if players have a bad score, they s tell them Dude, you have a bad score, take medic class. And I don't understand this basically, because many people think now, medic class is for noobs. The players who can't aim with an AK-103 or with a sniper class, they need to take medic. This is basically not fact in my opinion. Medics are so much important, so anyway, use one or minimum minimum one or two even better use medics in your team they can revive they have a shotgun for close quarter situation and also a garota and the cargo mass in air if you are in a really close quarter situation distance on one or two meters you have a good chance to kill the enemy with a garota when you are using a shotgun so this is really important and reviving your teammates it's just one of the most important things and I don't see many medics at the moment in ranked games. So guys, remember, take the medic class, look that um, mini minimum one of your teammates have the medic class, stay back and is able to revive. Now, the third point is a special point. It not every time you use something, but sometimes it really helps. What am I talking about? I'm talking about friendly language. If a player uses Garota, BT-50 or Cargomans and Air, most of the time the reaction of the enemy team is You fucking noob, fucking idiot, go to hell, fuck yourself, all those stuff. What the, what does it to the enemy player? He gets also pissed off because he gets insulted and stuff, he gets called a noob. And he starts even get madder and he still will play with Garota. Now, it not helps every time. But guys, try to be friendly. I tried it a few times. I asked him, please, can you change your weapon? Because we all play fair in my team. We don't use any Garota, Karakum SNR or BT-50, something like this. So we all playing fair. So can you please also play fair? That would be really great. It not helped every time, but sometimes it really helped. I promise you. Guys, try it. Try it out. It works much, much better than calling someone noob and start insulting him. It, it works just much better. So try it out. If he will is still not changing, then you can use tip 4. And this is the following. If I enter a game, uh, or a ranked match better say, it, I most of the time play as rifle or as medic, but I equip the sniper class also that I would be able to change. What I equip in the sniper class? Yeah, exactly. The Garota or the Cargo SNR. Now, before you start crying, first listen to me, okay? I start playing with the AK-103. And if there are one or two or three players even, if the enemy team were using a Garota, I use first tip 3, start talking friendly to them. Guys, can you please, can you please stop using it? Can you change the class? We all of my teammates are playing fair. So why you want to, why you play unfair with us? If there is no reaction or they just say shut the fuck up, then I'm gonna, I'm then I'm gonna say, okay guys, if you're not gonna change, I or my whole team, if I communicate with them and they did the same, we will also change the sniper class and will rape you with BT50, Karkin SNR or Garota anything. Maybe they say after this, okay okay, calm down, we change. If they aren't doing it. Change to the sniper class. Do it. Use the Garota, use the Cargo Messenger, use the BT-50 crown by yourself. Do it. You don't have to feel worse. Of course, you punish maybe his teammate mate who wants to play fair. But, yeah, at the end it is a game, you know. And everyone wants to win it, of course. Everyone wants to win. And if they don't play fair, then you don't need to feel like you have to do the same. Just change to Garota if you have equipped it already but don't start playing with the Garota this this is honestly this is not fair and it makes not fun and it destroys the game for all players and it, yeah it's just annoying of course then now the fifth 
tip and or trick. It's a pretty easy one and it got new with the follow with the last update. It's this render function. Basically you can vote now for giving up. If you see, if you aren't playing with your teammates already who haven't equipped the OP stuff and you see it's chanceless, you have no chance, the enemy team isn't playing fair, start to vote for a surrender and give up. Why? Okay, the enemy team won, but you saved time, because if you just play, if you just play the six rounds, it was a waste of time basically. So why should you do it? Just just keep calm, uh, vote for a surrender and give up. Give up. It's it's humanity to give up. It's it's no shame. And you get less less angry if you just ignore them, if you just say, okay, man, I'm I'm the better guy because I'm not a noob who start playing with a Garoto even the match started. I'm the one who is better and I don't need to feel bad. I just give up and I don't get angry at you. I think this is the easiest way. Okay guys, thanks now really much for watching. We are at the end of the video here already. I hope I could help you out with those five tips and tricks. Also, let me know your tips in the comments if you have another, uh, some other tips for ranked matches, what you are using often or how you act when someone is playing with a Garota or do you uh, play by yourself with it. Let me know this in the comments. As always guys, thanks really much for watching and we see us in my next video. Yeah,